Okay, let's look at how we can use external effects on a Bush Tree Ableton. Right now, in the current firmware, there is a external effect, external audio effect device. You can add it like this, but unfortunately, there's no there's no routing options on the on the external audio effect device. We can only adjust input output gain and, and drive it. In comparison, when we use a external instrument on the standalone like this, this actually a MIDI two parameter where we send the MIDI data out and there's a, also the audio from parameters so we can actually use a external instrument like uh, another synthesizer and uh, route it route the audio from it directly into push but unfortunately for external devices this is not the case so I've set up a uh, just a simple analog device and uh, and a drum rack with some room so we can have so we can hear what's going on. Basically, there's multiple ways to route the external effects on the push three standalone, but unfortunately, we're gonna need a computer to set it up uh, there is uh there is a workaround now i'm, I'm going to show later but uh, right now let's let's focus on the on the external effect um, device so let's go back to right now uh the push is in standalone i'm gonna i'm gonna save this Uh, project and I'm gonna switch switch push to control live so we can uh, see it in the computer once we have the push in control mode we need to first select it as an audio device in live then we load external audio effect and I already named the inputs and outputs of on, on push, so it makes it easier to uh, see what I'm doing. And we set up 3 for audio 2 going to headphones, coming in from internal 1 2 as a X FX out. Next, FX out three four in one two, and then we just need to create external effects for all the other combination. Then we switch push to standalone again. Next push in standalone mode, standalone mode, and copy the. device is over. Again, I'm using top of the library, but I actually already set up the audio effects beforehand, but this is just uh, so you can see the process. And uh, now we can try it on, on the standalone. And now we should be able to just uh, Insert the. I'm gonna load the project. Again, this is just some analog. 
device and a and a drum beat so we can hear what's going on. So on the analog track, we just add a uh, external effects device that I've set up. Right now, we're using the three, four, the headphones out, going to the reverb, going to the reverb pedal. So I'm gonna select the out three, four, in one, two, because that's how I've set it up. The headphones, the headphones output goes into the pedal and the output from the pedal goes into the internal inputs one and two on the, on, on the push. And uh, now we should have some reverb. There we go. It's a bit hard, so we need to adjust the output gain. Pretty simple, right? But using the headphones out, we have to set the audio to output stream four go into the headphones and one two to the main monitor, main uh, output. This way, we can we can use the the headphone output as a s separate output. But it means that we don't have a uh, headphones output from uh, from the push so of course it's better to i mean this does work but it's better to use the adat i have the fastx vc8 here which is a adat converter and uh, in in the next step we're going to use that for for the external effects so let me just disconnect disconnect this from the headphones output. Sorry about noise. And the headphone output, like this. And uh, I already have uh, the FastX connected to the Push 3 via Toslink cable. So this is the output from the panel. And this is the input. So now the, the audio goes to the ADAT and over the Toslink cables into the push. The procedure is pretty much the same, so we just need a different device that we set up before. So let's delete this one and add one of the ADATs. I do have the, the reverb pedal connected to ports one and two on the on the fast text, which mean nine slash ten on uh, on the push because ten is the first eight at the channel or nine ten is the first stereo channel so let's just add that just to gain a bit again let's see there we go this is the dry signal, this is dry wet on the on the pedal. But we can also we can also use the dry wet on the on the push. So if I set it to full wet here, we can control it from here. There's, there's of course uh, uh, another way to, to do this and that's by using the sense. So let's just delete this, go to the reverb, the delete the reverb. So we have nothing on, on the return A channel and when we add the same external effect, that's 9 slash 10. Now we should have the same outcome, but we can 
we need to run it through send A like this. So this way, of course, you can, and it's froze up again. Nice. Yeah, the push does this from time to time. So this way I can use the reverb pedal for multiple multiple tracks. Let's let's try it on the drum track. Works just the same. Okay. If you want to stay on the push standalone and you don't have access to your computer for some reason, there is a workaround. Let me just let me just delete this. There is a workaround for doing the routing all directly on, on the standalone. Uh, we're going to need a audio track for that, default track. And uh, then in the input and output, in input and output, uh, we just use this track, the, the audio track, as an input channel for, for the... There's a bit of signal coming in already. Uh, so, and we set the monitoring to in, and this way we can... We can monitor what's going on on the off on on the channel nine slash ten, but we need to, we need to send the the signal from from another track from this one to the external. Yeah, sorry, not in its output to external out and select the nine ten. And this way, we can route the audio on uh, the push standalone without using the computer. It is a bit inconvenient because you need a separate track for monitoring the the effect, and you, you're basically wasting a track for this. And there's no way to control the output from, uh, except for, uh, of course, level. Yeah, and another, another weird thing is I, I don't don't uh, see any any movement on the meters. On, on those tracks, so it's it's one of those push things. So that's it, folks. You either use a external effects audio effects device that you prepare on your computer and then you copy it over to push. Uh, then you can use it on individual tracks or on sends. Uh, that works just fine. It just needs some some computer setup first, or you can use the workaround, which I don't like personally because it eats up another audio track and this, but there's no a uh, proper control about the levels and routing. So this is really just a emergency solution, really. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for watching.